Hi, baritone players. This video is to teach you about the basics of the first five notes on your instrument. So the first note that we are going to talk about today is a B flat. So B flat is going to be no fingers, really relaxed lips. Um, your aperture or this hole is going to be nice and open. So a low note is going to look like this. So you can see how that hole is pretty big. As I get a little bit higher, that hole gets a little bit smaller. So you can see the difference in that aperture. So I'm going to play a B flat for you so it's no fingers. So B flat is going to look like this, so no fingers. Nice and relaxed. Let's play a B flat together. Good. Okay, our next note is going to be an F. So F, if you look on the staff, is actually the highest note of our first five notes. So B flat, the one we just played, is the lowest on the staff. So it is the lowest of our notes. F is also no fingers, but it's higher because it's higher on the staff. So F is going to sound like this. Let's play that together. So again, no fingers down. We're going to just play F with our lips a little bit closer together. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to practice going back and forth between B flat and F. So low aperture, nice and open, big hole in your lips. And then high for the F is going to be aperture a little bit smaller, the hole is a little bit smaller. So B flat sounds like this. And then F. We're going to go back and forth like this. We're going to go back and forth four times. Here we go. Ready? Play. Good. Each time you do that, you're making these muscles a little bit stronger, and that's helping you control that aperture. Okay, now that we've got that figured out, the difference between a low B flat and then the higher F, we're going to play them in order. So your first note of your five notes is a concert B flat. So a B flat is going to be no fingers pressed down like we talked about before. Listen first. Now let's play that together. Ready? Big breath. your cheeks are staying in. You're not puffing. We don't want that puffing kind of look. We want nice control right here. One more time. Let's try a B flat. Ready? Nice job. All right, our next note is going to be a C. So if you look at C, it's one note higher than the B flat, and the fingering for that is going to be one and three. It looks kind of like 13, but I want you to think of your pointer finger being labeled as one, your middle finger labeled as two, and your ring finger is three. So one and three together will be our pointer finger and our ring finger, okay? Here is C, listen first. All right, now let's play it together. It's just a little bit higher than B flat. which is going to be one and two. So one and two is our pointer and our middle finger. It's going to look like this. So pointer and middle finger down for D. Here it is. Let's put that together. Ready? Good. Now a little bit higher still, we have our E flat. So our aperture or that hole is getting a little bit smaller. Not but just a little bit smaller with each note that we play. All right, so E flat is going to be one, so that's just our pointer finger or our first vowel. So here's E flat. Let's play that together. Ready, big breath. Good. Now let's play F. So we played F a little bit earlier. Again, F is no fingers. So F is highest of these five notes on the staff, and it's going to be zero fingers down. So our aperture, or that hole, is getting a little bit smaller. Here is F. Let's play it together.
together. Keep your cheeks in. Good. All right, now that we know our first five notes, we're going to play them as they're written on this page. So we're going to play them as whole notes. So whole notes get four counts each. So with each note, we're going to play it for four counts. And then we'll move on to the next note for four counts. So it's going to be B flat, then C, then D, then E flat, then F. All right, here we go, starting with B flat. One, two, ready. that you do, the easier it's going to get. So watch this video a few more times, practice through it. Happy practicing. <laughs> 